of subtle variations for the off-break bowler. Off-break to leg-break. Sarah Glenn. Again, uncertainty line, terrific line. Some will turn, some will not. And that was why she just had a little push at it. Good example, actually, that last replay they showed. They showed us Charlie Dean, that quicker ball going down. Great example of the seam. I know it was a slow mo, but a replay. But you can actually see the contrast between the seam position and the white ball. Have a look. I know this is in slow motion, but you get a really good contrast between the seam. And that's the sort of thing you're looking for as a batter. A couple of things when you play spin, you're looking firstly for clues out of the hand, the wrist, is it a little different, googly, whatever release it is from the off spin. And if you're not picking that up, the secondary option is seam position. Right, remember, batting against Shane Warne. <sighs> oh! over the various stages of his career. The first time I played against him was all the way back in 93. He spun the ball so hard, I've never seen, or funnily enough, heard anything like it. Hear the ball revving down the pitch at you. And then as the ravages of time got to him, oh! and the shoulder injuries and the finger injuries kicked in, and he developed sort of different variations. I remember the first time I saw him with the sort of, it, it wasn't the, the flipper, it wasn't a genuine sort of, under spinning ball, but it was one that just came out of the hay. It looked like a leg break because the seam revolved, but it was actually a, it was actually a straight on it. So you'd push forward thinking it was going to turn back into the bat as it normally would, and it zipped past the outside edge. 84 for six. <laughs> and of course, I never played against him in white ball cricket, so it was only with the red ball. And it took a, it took probably three or four overs of groping around with this thing before I figured out what was going on.